intellectual property. So let's check it out. What are the contents of this topic? The first thing that we will discuss that is of course meaning of intellectual property. Second thing purpose of intellectual property. Thirdly types of intellectual property. And in the types we will discuss trademarks, patents, copyrights, designs and geographical indications. And of course law that governs all these intellectual property. So let's begin with the meaning and concept. As defined by WIPO that is WIPO World Intellectual Property Organization. The intellectual property rights are like any other property right. What does it mean that we have discussed in our previous video that we have the immovable property or we have immovable property and we have right over those properties. So that is the way those properties are governed by the laws. So in the same way intellectual property rights also governed by the laws and the kind of facility the kind of benefit that laws give in regard to the immovable or movable property same benefit you will get also here. So it works in the same fashion as in other properties. They allow creators or owners of patents, trademarks or copyrighted works to benefit from their own work or investment in a creation. So they allow means the law basically allows you to enjoy the right over the properties you created basically intellectual properties. Uh, still I believe you must have the confusion regarding the intellectual property what it is. So let's check it out what is meaning of intellectual property. Intellectual property refers the intangible creations created by the human mind keep in mind it is created by human mind which could be literary and artistic works and symbols, logos, names and images used in commerce and businesses. So intellectual property is essentially created by a human mind. It is something like innovative, it is something unique that you have created. So that is yours and law protects your rights on that creation. So that is intellectual property. These rights are outlined in article 27 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights which provides for the right to benefit from the protection of moral and material interests resulting from authorship of scientific, literary or artistic productions. This sentence simply saying that such right is mentioned in the article 27 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and that ensures how it will be protected. Now let's check out the interesting facts of intellectual property rights. Intellectual property is the creation of human mind we have discussed it which is intangible in nature. The next point is the examples of such human mind creations are inventions it could be anything like machine like medicine so whatever the new thing you created that comes under inventions next one is literary works it could be anything like poem article novel movie script anything artistic works it could be paintings photographs logo and symbol design that is the company's logo and symbol you must have heard about that. So that is also included names, company names, images, integrated circuit and semiconductor design. So all these are considered as intellectual property. The governing laws of intellectual property rights that secure such rights of respective living persons I believe now you must understand what is meaning of living persons because in our previous video we have discussed the meaning of living persons. So living persons means not only an individual or human being but rather association, company, firm, trust, everything. 
So protect intellectual property rights in the same way as other property laws protect other form of movable or immovable property. We have discussed on previous slide the same point. So, the, so it is saying that as the law governs the immovable or movable property, similarly the law governs the intellectual property. Such laws give the creator an exclusive right over the use of his or her creation for a limited period of time. This is another point that you need to focus on that makes it distinct that whatever the creation you have or you created over which the law protects that creation but that is not for the lifelong rather that is for the limited period but it depends and it varies that we will discuss later but for the time being you keep in mind it is not for the lifelong it is for the limited period now let's check it out the historical background of the intellectual property the importance of intellectual property was first recognized in the Paris Convention for the Protection of Industrial Property in 1883. See how old it is. Further, in 1886, Bern Convention held for the protection of literary and artistic works. So, these two conventions held in 1883 and 86 respectively. After that, the important event that noticed or recognized the intellectual property that is World Intellectual Property Organization that is WIPO is the global forum for intellectual property services, policy, information and cooperation which was established in the year 1967. So it is also pretty old 1967. Mission of the WIPO is to lead the development of a balanced and effective international intellectual property system that enables innovation and creativity for the benefit of all. See, at this point in time, you need to understand the purpose and the work of WIPO because it will help you to understand its formation. As we know that we have two law system that is municipal law and international law. So, if you have created something new according to municipal law that will be secured. So, if someone tries to violate your right in such a condition you can go or basically you can file a lawsuit against him. But if that someone is not Indian rather the foreigner and maybe he is citizen of Germany, then how are you supposed to be taking action or legal action against him or her? So it is not possible. So in order to secure your right internationally, nationally of course it is secured by the municipal law, but internationally this is the work of WIPO. It ensures your law internationally. So across the world your right is secured. So no one can steal or violate your right. So that is the purpose and work of WIPO. Now the next one is TRIPS agreement. What is TRIPS? It is trade related aspects of intellectual property rights. TRIPS agreement is a multilateral agreement on intellectual property which came into force on January 1st 1995. TRIPS agreement is administered by WTO that is World Trade Organization. So it is not an independent rather works under the WTO that is World Trade Organization and it has the same function. Now let us check it out the purposes of intellectual property rights. What are the purposes? The protection of someone's intellectual creation not only provides the exclusive rights to enjoy the benefit of his or her creation but also encourages him or her as well as other young generation to create or invent new works in the areas of his or her interest. Though don't get confused with the lengthy sentence, it is simply saying that if your creation is secured, then it will encourage you to do something more in the same field, isn't it? If it is secured, then it not only you but also the other generation, young generation will also get benefit of that and basically they will get motivated to do something good. 
so that is one of the purposes the second purpose is the legal protection of inventive human mind creation encourages commitment of additional resources for further innovation so what it means that saying your security your protection of your intellectual property rights of course provides you the additional resources for further innovations the last purpose of this topic is the protection and promotion of intellectual property also boosts economic growth that directly creates new employment areas for many people i believe this is the simple sentence that you can appreciate and the example you can take that for the example will gets as he invented microsoft the software that revolutionized the world and you can see the amount of benefit he received as well as the amount of benefit the world received and the number of employment he generated based on only one software so that is another big advantage now the next topic that we have to discuss in this video is types of intellectual property rights primarily intellectual property rights categorized as industrial property and copyright industrial property includes patents for innovations trademarks industrial designs and geographical indications we will discuss all these terms so don't worry and the copyright includes literary works such as poems plays novels movie scripts films and artistic works such as photographs paintings drawings sculptures and architectural design copyright also includes performance of artists such as singing music acting etc and broadcasters in their radio and television programs so these are the topics that covered under the copyright we will check out in detail don't worry now let's check out what is the meaning of trademark as per the section 2zb of the trademarks act 1999 trademark means a mark capable of being represented graphically and which is capable of distinguishing the goods or services of one person from those of others and may include shape of goods their packaging and combination of colors a mark can include a device brand heading label ticket name signature word letter numeral shape of goods packaging or combination of colors or any such combinations so trademarks basically that is the identity of a company or firm through which you recognize a company so that is a trademark and it includes so many things the device brand heading label ticket all these things so that is trademark so not essentially you always need to tell the name of the company but through trademark through some identity you can identify the company name it may be through the some name through some signature or through anything so that is trademark and it is protected under the law so no one can use that for their own purposes now the next question is what is meaning of patent the word patent originates from latin patent well the pronunciation i don't know what exactly is you can pronounce the way it is written here on the screen so you can pronounce the way you want but it is p a t e r e so that is patent which means to lay open that is to make available for public inspections so it is the literal meaning so now let's check it out what is the meaning of patent the way we use it today being one of the forms of intellectual property so of course it is one of the forms of intellectual property patent is the privilege that gives the owner the legal right to exclude others from making using selling and importing an invention for a limited period of years we have studied that the intellectual property rights given for the limited period not for the rest of the life so 
the same thing saying here in exchange for publishing and enabling public disclosure of the invention so what does it mean that it is saying simply whatever the thing you created suppose you have created certain medicine so it will be secured and protected under the law but it is saying and law doesn't allow anyone to use in any way isn't it without your permission so against that protection government will publish your this invention okay so let the public know what you have invented so you have to give the right to publish to the government of your invention so that is the thing saying so patent basically means something something created unique or something new it could be a medicine and uh, you will get the right over that to enjoy for the certain period of time exclusively now let's check out the next one that is what is meaning of copyright copyright is the exclusive right given to the creator of a creative work to reproduce the work usually for a limited period so again it is limited and what are the things that covered under copyright we have discussed so let's check it out the creative works that covered by copyright include but not limited to please pay attention but not limited to what does it mean means whatever i am going to pronounce here on written on the screen it is not only that covered under copyright but rather something more so let's check it out novels poems plays reference works newspapers advertisements computer programs databases films musical compositions choreography paintings drawings photographs sculpture architecture maps and technical drawings so all these things are covered under the heading of copyright now the next topic that we have that is design what is meaning of design as per the section 2d of the designs act 2000 design means only the features of shape configuration pattern ornament of composition of lines or colors applied to any article whether in two dimensional or three dimensional or in both forms by any industrial process or means whether manual mechanical or chemical separate or combined which in the finished article appeal to and are just solely by the eye but doesn't include any mode or principle of construction or anything which is in substance a mere mechanical device as for example design of vehicles machine etc so what this lengthy sentence is saying that you might get confused with this so long sentence but don't worry it is simply saying that if you created some design whether it is 2d or 3d or whatever and whatever the things you used in creating that design so the outcome is protected but not the mechanism that i am saying here but doesn't include any mode of principle of construction so the mechanism the way you created that is not protected someone else can use such mechanism to create something not exactly your design but something else so you cannot claim on that account that he is using the same mechanism as you used so that is not protected but yes the result is protected your final outcome is protected so simply this is saying that only for for example design of vehicles you can check it out on the screen the design of bmw car okay the design of mercedes formatic so that particular design is protected no other car company can copy exactly same as this car looks like so that is the thing but how you created that design the process the mechanism that is not protected so you need to understand this two points here so this is the thing regarding the design i believe it is much clear for you now so now the next topic that we have that is the what is meaning of geographical indication 
This is something different from the intellectual property, whatever the thing that we have discussed till now. Because in this, we are not creating anything. Let's check it out what exactly it is and then I will explain. As per the section 2E of the Geographical Indications of Goods Registration and Protection Act 1999, geographical indication in relation to goods means an indication which identifies such goods as agricultural goods, natural goods or manufactured goods as originating or manufactured in the territory of a country or a region or locality in that territory where a given quality, reputation or other characteristic of such goods is essentially attributable to its geographical origin and in case where such goods are manufactured goods, one of the activities of either the production or of processing or preparation of the goods concerned takes place in such territory, region or locality as the case may be. Well, of course, I believe you must get confused with so long sentence, but don't worry, it is saying simply that if there is something, some product, maybe agriculture, maybe your production, unique to that region. And that is not available in other part of the world, not in the country only, not other part of the world. So that is basically unique of one geographic region. It may be natural or it may be man-made. So that is again protected. And that is that covered under basically geographical indication. So what are the examples such as Darjeeling tea? You can see that Darjeeling tea, it is the natural, though the tea has been cultivated in many parts of the world, but Darjeeling tea is unique, it has unique flavor. So that is Darjeeling tea and it is protected under the law. So the tea produced in somewhere South India that cannot be named as Darjeeling tea. Similarly, Laddu of Tirupati that is unique to that reason only, though the Laddu is produced all across the country. but it cannot be named as Tirupati Laddu. Similarly, Cuban cigars, Champagne of France. Champagne basically is the place in a France where grapes largely are produced and then from that grapes, the Champagne is prepared. Basically, the wine is prepared and it is named Champagne. So that is the unique to that country. Tequila of Mexico. Again, it is a beverage that is produced in a region located in Mexico, namely Tequila. So, name is Tequila. So, this is all about the geographical indications. And now, the last topic of our video is the governing laws in India of all these intellectual property rights. So, let's check it out one by one. Patent right. It is governed by the Patents Act 1970. However, lastly, it is amended in 2005 and known as Patents Amendment Rules 2005. Designs. It is governed by the Designs Act 2000. Trademark. Governed by Trademark Act 1999. Copyright. The Copyright Act 1957, but it is amended again. Lastly, Copyright Amendment Act. 2012. Next one is geographical indications. It is governed by Geographical Indications of Goods Registration and Protection Act 1999. And lastly, we have layout design of integrated circuits. And it is governed by the Semiconductor Integrated Circuit Layout Design Act 2000. Though we haven't discussed this layout design of integrated circuits in our video because it is not in the syllabus. However, in some other video we will discuss that. But this is all for this video. So likewise we have discussed about the intellectual property rights, so many things regarding the meaning, the types, the purposes, the historical background and, and the meaning of all the types of intellectual property. So I believe you must have understood all those things. Nevertheless, if you have any problem, I still repeat, watch it again so that you can clarify the dots and all. So see you in next video.